we finally have a true open source chat GPT after months and months of waiting. Uh, we have Open Assistant, and this is the true chat GPT open source alternative. Uh, the code is fully open source. Um, the data set is open source. The data set is very unique because it was uh, entirely created through this website. They basically had a bunch of just volunteers um, act as the AI and gave responses as if they were AI. And then they used that data to create a bot based off of all of these people's examples. And the output is a true open source uh, model. And you can see I tried my classic, classic uh, example of a Discord bot with slash commands and it handled it beautifully. Um, I'd say that this might even be the best uh, result so far, maybe even better than Vicuna. Um, I'm not sure, I don't exactly remember. But look, it even, ex oh my goodness, it even explains everything. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's, that's chat GPT level uh, coding right there. Um, so apparently this model, you know, it doesn't have as many filters as uh, the ones from OpenAI do. And apparently you can get um, in like arguments with it, which sounds really exciting because that's like, that was like the fun times of like Bing chat is when it was like arguing with people and like telling them to divorce their wife or whatever. So I'm gonna try that out. Interesting, okay. This is with 30 billion parameters. So you can see there's a bit of a queue here. Um, by the way, if you wanna try this out yourself, uh, you can check the link in the description and you can try it out. You'll have to sign up with Gmail or your Discord and then uh, you go over to chat and you click create a new chat. And if you are feeling very charitable today, I recommend going over to the dashboard and uh, contributing to one of these tasks. So basically you can reply as the assistant and uh, contribute to the open source uh, data set that they have to train these. Let's go, give me that roast. Dang, okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so I guess it does have, it does have um, filters, but it's not as bad as ChatGPT because it did say I'm pretty useless for entertainment purposes, so that's something. Anyways, uh, I'm going to investigate right now uh, after this video how to run this locally if that's possible. Uh, they said that this can be ran on consumer GPUs, but I don't know, like, if that means, like, a, you know, a 4090 with, like, one terabyte of RAM or something, you know, we'll have to see, um, but that is something I'm going to be investigating, so hit subscribe to stay tuned for that, uh, if and when I figure that out, I will make a tutorial, so thank you for watching, uh, go try it out, links in the description, and have a nice day.